Namaste guys, welcome to my vlog, Yamanta Ka 17. The Dominor and Steroids is back in a new avatar. This is 2.0. Crazy modifications done with the lighting, custom fender, custom suspension by Zedling. It is completely serviceable suspension. A lot of weight has been shed on the bike. It is totally different. And uh, with its massive power and the Powertronics piggyback issue, it is ready for off-road adventures. This is a dual purpose tire. This must be Apollo Trampler. Yes, it is Apollo Trampler on the front, on the rear. I guess it is 20% uh, 20, 20 off-road and 80% road, I guess, right? 30-70 ratio, right? So, a lot of weight has been shared. Amazing, it looks. This is a custom part, I believe. Yes, sir. Front is a custom, uh, custom part. Okay. So, there is this the whole front section is custom. Nothing is stock on this bike other than the fuel tank, I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> Some, panels. Some panels. But, uh, Amazing, amazing effort by Rohan on this bike. Let's ask Rohan why so many changes, not even a year since the previous video was out and it is totally in a new avatar. So let's talk to Rohan. So here is the owner of this wonderful bike, Rohan. And uh, my main question is, uh, why so many drastic changes on the bike? Hi man. Hi everyone, thanks for having me back on the uh, vlog. Yes. Uh, so, <laughs> since the, the last time I had the bike, this was the only bike I had. Yes. And yes. she's close to 5 years old now. She's over 5 years old. Yeah. She's run uh, close to 67 kilometers. Yeah. And I started thinking if I have to upgrade the bike, what would the next bike be? Yeah. Right. So, I uh, zeroed in on the Honda NX500. Yeah. which I thought would be a great mix of uh, on-road and a little bit of trail, a little bit of soft-roading maybe. Yeah. Then I have a cousin who had a Versus 650. Okay. And just we were just selling out one day and I asked him if he's, gonna, if he's okay to sell his bike. Yeah. And he was like, yeah, let, uh, tell me how much you're going to pay for it. Yeah. So and you got a sweet deal on the bike? Uh, I don't know if it's a sweet deal, but yeah. So what my what thought went through my mind was... You know, why pay 9 lakh for a new bike, sell my existing one, rather I would have, I'd pay half of it yes. for a used bike and keep both, you know. So, I went ahead and bought the Versus from my cousin and because that it's a, in itself is an amazing touring bike, at least for me, yes. I thought, let me change the Dominar a little so that I can, I wanted, I always wanted to start, do a little bit of trail riding and other things. So, I thought, why not? Let's do some trails. So, but having the kit and all, it was set up for touring at that point of time. Yes. So I thought, let's make it lighter. So I went and stripped everything. I didn't want to go back to the stock headlight. I had a lot of uh, ox lamps. Can and you explain us what you have done in the front? Yeah, yeah. So uh, the entire frame that comes with the stock is gone. Okay. Uh, this is a custom frame that is done up. A yes. lot of. Uh, 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 thought has gone into it so that my lights can be tilted to the right, left, up and down, wherever I need the focus. Got it. So the whole point I did this is because the stock light isn't that great yes. and I had a lot of ox lights, but I can't mount the ox lights if I want to go trail riding yes. because you drop the bike and the lights are going to break. Yes. So I thought this is the best way to do it. Crazy, crazy. So, can you just show how it lights up? Last uh, time it was crazy, this time I just want to check so, it. I know people can call me mad. Uh, you are a mad genius, I would call you. So, so with, uh, I've given a separate switch for the uh, low beam. Yes. This is a switch for the low beam. Uh, what is this the brand called? This is yeah. from a brand called Gold Runway Lights. Okay. So, this uh, the lights are amazing. The switch comes with a light on and off. Yeah. Then there are three brightness levels. So if you can see, this is the stock brightness it on, turns on, this is the brightest mode. Yeah. Then this is a little lighter and this is uh, completely lighter. So then what I've done is I've hardwired the high beam. Yes. With my high beam switch here. Yeah. Pass. So uh, yeah, pass and high beam pass both. And high beam. So I don't, I didn't need another bike. 
uh, I mean another switch for that. Yeah. So it works perfectly well. Yeah. There's no uh, no cutting of any original wire or anything. So works well. Since the last time we have met, a uh, lot of changes actually. I've got these uh, custom suspension from Zedling. They are a brand based out of Pune. Okay. And their work, their work is brilliant. So they take your uh, preferred style of riding. Yes. They take your weight and the sort of luggage you carry. If you go single it or with pillion. made for your need. Yeah, it was sailor made for me. The front, they take the entire stock setup. They change the internals and they give it back to you. The rear is a completely new suspension. They design it for you. So these suspension are completely serviceable. It can you can change the setup whenever you want. You just have to call them. Maybe a small charge and they'll change it for you. Yeah. Uh, I wanted a little change with the rear looks. Yes. So I've gone with the. I've deleted the uh, entire mudguard. Yeah. I didn't want all the slush over me. So uh, tire. I got the tire again. So mounted the, the number plate there. Rear looks a lot cleaner because of the tail tire. Yes. Exactly. Looks more sportier also. It does. It does. Yeah. So, uh, because I still do use this bike a little bit here and there for my daily driver and other things, yes. I had to get these done. The phone mount. Yes, the RAM mount. And yes, the nice uh, frame for that. Yes. Uh, this again is my existing Powertronic oh, setup, which is yeah. where she's running the yeah. switch shifter as well. Yeah. Planning to get an exhaust, change an exhaust done. So, hopefully that will come soon. The only thing I'm not doing it right now is because I don't like loud noise. Yes. So... I, I have to figure out how that works out. Bike feels amazing now. Feels complete like a completely different machine. Yeah. I guess there is more Quite agility. Happy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Feels Big more. Ability. Feels even better in the city now. Yes. yes. Because it's lighter, turns in much quicker. It's lighter and it's also kind of smaller now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> much smaller. Yeah. Before, this looks like a small toy in front of me, well, especially yeah. on me now. Yes. So, yeah. Quite happy with the way she's turned out. Yes. Uh, hopefully. So how long this project took and. Oh. So the uh, problem with these custom things is that you don't get people who fabricate stuff. Yes. So the bike was not there with me for over a over a month, month and a half. Okay. Then with the wiring, we figured out some of the problems. So while doing the wiring, that took a while because you had to hardwire it. It was a lot of up and down, ups and downs. But then I had the verses. Yeah. Now the bus is gone for a small service, so once she's back, I'll show it to you guys. Yes, yes. So even that bike has been set up very well. Yes. She's gone through a lot of process. Yeah, quite happy with how this has uh, come out. Yes. I'm planning to get a quick throttle. Yes. And probably a change in exhaust a couple of months down the line. With uh, with those modification, I guess the power might go up. The quick throttle, not much, but the but power the delivery exhaust, is quicker. Exhaust. Exhaust, yes. Once yeah, I get the... some more BSP to your model. Yeah, uh, exhaust, once I get that, hopefully I am um, planning to do a dyno run again. Yes. And uh, fine tune it. Fine tune, uh, tune it a little bit more towards that side. Initially, people are suggesting me to get the fuel X along with the power running, but it doesn't make sense to me. Because this again regulates with the fuel yes. and it has auto adaptation for uh, altitude and other things. Okay. So, yeah. Thanks for... Uh, Allowing this video to happen. You are Thanks for having me on the video, man. Person in my channel. The last video was a hit, and people keep asking your Instagram. I'm so humbled. I'm so humbled. This is just a. See, it's for me a bike is an extremely custom it's, thing. It's, it's extremely an, personal. It's an extension of ourselves. Exactly. So I take a lot of time. I put a lot of thought into it to yes. get it where I want it yes. to be. I wouldn't expect everybody to understand. But yeah, I mean, so many people asking about it, liking the videos. Yes. Huge thank you to all of you guys. Means a lot. Thank you. Thank you, Rohan. So now I'm going to show you the headlight on this Dominar. So that was on. We have three brightness settings. And now for the high beam. So... This is the brightest. Now for the high beam. Well lit. There is good throw right on the... Yeah. Amazing.
So this bike has done how many kilometers bro? 59 59k So this bike is aptly named Carnage So excited So also there is that the stand is of the expulse and uh, there is a side stand extender That's the note So we are on race map 2 So let's take it for a spin We got this patch of off road Yes, I can saddle on this bike It is very agile compared to the last time I rode this Wow The suspension setup is sweet Crazy light Wow It's completely different beast bro Dogs are getting offended Crazy crazy bike man It's very nimble, agile, very flickable Yes Amazing, amazing, thoughtfully done Rohan is definitely a genius when it comes to modifying bikes A lot of personalization A lot of thought has gone into this bike I guess this is the only Dominar in the world with this kind of a setup and I'm so glad to feature this bike on my channel. Thanks to Rohan for allowing me to do this. I'll put Rohan's Instagram in the description. You can directly contact him. Yes, amazing. Let's do a quick U-turn and check the radius. Hi. Let's do a quick uh, turn and figure out how short the turning radius is Very easy to do U-turns right now Crazy, no? crazy, crazy, amazing, amazing It is ready for the Himalayas <laughs> Yeah, Hopefully totally So, thanks for letting me do this video My honor bro, my uh, pleasure so there you go guys, Dominar on steroids 2.0